Hi, this is Miss Landau. Today we're going to classify two-dimensional figures. Our standard that we're working on today is classify and organize two-dimensional figures into Venn diagrams based on the attributes of the figures. Your essential question for this lesson will be, how can I sort two-dimensional shapes based on the attributes of the figures? I know you can't wait to get classifying, but let's activate our knowledge first. Think about what we have learned about rhombuses and squares so far. There's a rhombus and there's a square there. Remember how we talked about similarities between a rhombus and a square, and we talked about differences between a rhombus and a square. We also discussed rectangles and squares. Think about what you came up with when you sorted rectangles and squares and the attributes that go along with them. Remember that when you were classifying rhombuses and squares, we discovered that a square is a rhombus because it has four equal sides and it has four right angles. But a rhombus that's stretched out or squished together doesn't have to be a square because it might have an obtuse angle or it might have some acute angles in there. We also talked about rectangles and squares and that rectangles don't have to have all equal sides, but a square does. So a square can also be a kind of rectangle, but a rectangle, if it doesn't have all equal sides, cannot be a square. Now that your brain is thinking, we're ready to sort. Let's learn. I started out with this rhombus over here because um, I'm thinking that that's gonna be a good starting point for us right over here. I have a rhombus over here that has two obtuse angles and it has two acute angles right here. So let's see what other shapes we can sort. Here I have a rectangle. This rectangle is going to be um, with four right angles and it has four sides to it, just like the other one, but it, it doesn't have the same angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that over there. Um, since it has four right angles and it doesn't have those acute and obtuse angles. I also have this fancy schmancy shape over here, but I am a big fifth grader and I'm not gonna be tricked because that is a rectangle just turned on its side. So I'm gonna go put that one with the rectangle too. It's not gonna fool me. Okay. I also have a shape that looks like this, which we learned in preschool. That one's a square. I'm gonna try it over here. Let's see. So it has four equal sides, just like the rhombus, but this one has four right angles like the rectangle. So I'm gonna put that one in the middle and I'm gonna see how that works out for me. Let's try this one right here. That's another rhombus. Let's see, it has four sides that are all equal, so it's not with the rectangle. I'm going to put that one with the square since it has four right angles and it has four equal sides. And once I've sorted all of those shapes, it's easy for me to see what those categories are. So I'm going to go ahead and label them. I have rectangles over here and I have rhombuses over here, meaning that the square and the rhombus, that's kind of like a square on its side with four straight um, equal sides and four right angles, is also a rectangle. So when we compared squares and rhombuses, we did find that squares and rhombuses can be the same if, the, if you say that the square is a rhombus, but the rhombus, over here cannot be a square because it doesn't have those right angles right here. These can be a rectangle because they have four right angles. And even though the sides are all equal, they don't have to be equal. These are rectangles because they have four right angles and they have parallel sides. Even though they don't have all equal sides like the square and the rhombus do. Okay, here's the sneaky secret. 
so that I know you watched this video, your accountability is going to be take a screenshot of this right now, that base, and I want you to go to Notability, go ahead and write your name on it in Notability, and write your favorite color. Once you send me a screenshot of this with your name and your favorite color, I'll know that you really listened to my video. Okay, see you guys next time.